guess where we are now? We're at Sienho Fish Farm. So growing up, my dad would actually bring us here quite often. So we look at the fishes, the fighting fishes, the toys, and all the different ones. So I'm just going to go through this whole place and hopefully be able to find something that is perfect for the terrapins. So I'm looking at all of these which are really good for terrapins. So you've got rocks that you can plant in their tanks and you have driftwood which will look nice too. I will change the color of their tank. And so you have all of these and the substrates are all here as well. And here you can actually see their terrapin enclosure. Ah. Lots of work that needs to be done. But, uh, yeah, you can see this one's very calm. Most of them look okay. Some are just a little bit deformed, you know. So over here, you can actually see that they have the UVA, UVB lamps. So they have all of the lamps here. So I am actually going to get some for my own terrapins. So yeah. I just got some pellets. I'm going to start eating the babies. <laughs> see all these bugs. Finally back after a long day out to the zoo and to Tianhu Fish Farm and I'm just going to show you what I actually got from Tianhu Fish Farm so that maybe you can also use it for your own aquarium at home. Okay but before I do that, just a disclaimer, you don't have to get all the things I have because I think um, I actually do want to scape my aquarium a little bit more, that's why I'm getting a lot more stuff but actually if you just want a basic aquarium you just need the very basic stuff and all the escaping stuff maybe it's not necessary at first so I'll just show you what I got okay so the first thing that I got was I actually got this piece of drift wood so I actually really like this piece you know it, uh, because I'm actually going to use it to prop up uh, my 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 little platform for the terrapins so this is going to be up in the three feet tank something like that i'll figure it out along the way um, but first what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to boil this so so that it doesn't actually dirty or yellow the water so i'm going to boil this inside that pail and i'm going to leave it there for two whole nights and the next thing that the uncle recommended to get at Tianhu was to get this rock so because it is a piece of driftwood, so let me just put it up, see how it looks like. It's gonna look something like that. So because it is a piece of driftwood, so we want to make sure that this piece really stays sunken down in the tank. And even though we're going to boil it, right, it might just get a little bit, uh, it still might float. So we actually got this piece of um, rock. <laughs> and we're actually going to use this to sure that it stays in place I'm probably going to escape it somehow but uh, we'll figure that out and then the other things that I got was I also got this super crystal clear um, tank water because I think that it solves the cloudy water problem which is what exactly what I'm facing right now so if you see you know this is just a little bit murky which kind of is what's happening in the tank and after adding it it's supposed to clear it so I'm gonna try this out I'm gonna use this tomorrow so it does come in a cap form so see it does come in a cap form so because the tank that I have is a 3 feet tank 3 by 1.5 by 1.5 feet so I'm probably gonna use about um, until about this line here which is about 16 ml so this one here so that is that um, and then what else did I get yeah I got a net because I need to I need to scoop up all of the gunk every single day after I feed them and okay I'm gonna show you I actually got 
proper light bulbs for them, which I'm really excited to sh to to get them. Okay, let me just take this out. So I am using a heating lamp right now, but I decided to get like a proper heating lamp. So this is the this is the Reptile Pro heating lamp, and essentially. It doesn't come with a bulb, so you have to get the bulb separately. So I got this bulb that goes together with this, and this is the basking lamp bulb. And this goes together with that, I'm going to replace that with the one that I'm using now. And I got some biomedia as well. Oops, we got we get this up. Oops. So I got some biomedia as well. So this is going into my Hydra 30, which I'm going to put an extra filter in the tank just so that it really makes the water flow a lot more in the whole tank. So essentially, I want to make sure that the water flows from here and goes back, sucks in here and the whole cycle goes. So this biomedia is going to help me with that. And yeah, that's all about it. Okay, let's see how much I paid for everything. Does it show me here? Nope. Okay, great. Okay, so I'm just going to check out the price tag. So, how much did I pay all in all? So, I paid $112.60. So, let's start with this one. This net was, I think, a $1.80. So, this one's just necessary. This crystal clear one was $10. Let's see. Yeah, 10 bucks. So this crystal clear was 10 bucks, but I think this can last for quite some time, so that's great. This rock was three dollars. Three dollars for this rock. This one I believe I believe this piece of driftwood is about 40-ish dollars. So I think it's about 40 plus dollars or 50 bucks around there. And then um Okay, so this one is 35 bucks. Oops, plastic that flew away. So this one is 35 bucks, which I think is a good investment given that, you know, I've got that number of terrapins and I want to make sure that they are safe and really basking well under this lamp. But the good thing is this actually comes with a clamp as well. So which is nice. And this daylight beam was... How much is this? $23. So this two together, this two together would make $58 for proper lighting for your terrapin. So this is necessary. You can actually get um, some other ones from elsewhere that is maybe not Reptile Pro or, you know, any other brands. But sure, just get something. And yeah, that's about everything. Oh, okay, this one was actually given by the uncle because he's nice and he's cool like that so yeah so yeah i hope you guys enjoy it and you can actually imagine how this is going to look like in the tank hopefully this works very well after i actually soak it in there for it's gonna be like four days or something um but once i'm done with that i'll show you how i skip the whole tank and i'll see how it goes just as a disclaimer there is only a couple of things that are completely necessary in all of the things that I got here. One, you need a net. This is to help you catch up all of the gunk. The second thing that is completely necessary would be your heating lamp. So this is the one that is necessary. You don't have to get this brand, but you need to get light for your terrapins. So I just wanted to put it out there that everything else is completely not necessary. So, so thank you for watching guys. I hope that you found this video really helpful and useful to you and that I hope that the information shared will be something that you can also use for your terrapins at home and for your aquarium. So if you really enjoyed this, please give us a like and subscribe down below and I really appreciate all of your time spent here. So if you have any questions or if you have anything that you actually want to know more about, I think drop it down in the comments below and I will have a look at every single comment that I see. So 
see you again very soon. And I just want to give a huge shout out to the team at Aquari at, at Tianhu Aquarium. Thank you so much for all of the advice given for all of the products here and for making my aquarium so beautiful for the little ones. So for Faith, Hope, Love and Charity, which is the name of my terrapins, I will make them a beautiful home and I'll share them with you guys very soon after I soak this piece of driftwood in hot water for 4 days. So, I'll see you. Bye!